Do you always overpack? I find myself wanting to bring half of my closet when I leave town, just in case. But this packing strategy helps me keep my carry-on under control when I'm going on a five-day trip. If you have packing or travel tips, tell us in the comments. Okay, before you get your bag or clothes out, you need to check the weather at your destination for your travel dates. This lets you know if you'll want extra items like a swimsuit or a thick sweater while you're traveling. Then, list out what you'll be doing when you're there. Exploring a city, hiking and outdoor activities, going to a formal event, or relaxing on the beach. As long as you have a rough idea, you'll be able to pack more effectively. Now it's time to lay out what you're packing, sorted by item. Shirts, pants, dresses and formal wear, outerwear, socks and underwear, accessories, toiletries and medications, electronics and chargers, and on-plane essentials. Oh, and don't forget the shoes. I have the Chow expandable carry-on. In its smaller form, the dimensions are 15 by 13.5 by 8 inches. But you can pop up the top for more space, making it 22 inches tall. I've used this carry-on for flights on several airlines. Now it's time to pack your bag. Start with shoes. You may choose to wrap your shoes in a bag or shower cap. Then, stuff the insides with your socks. This helps the shoe retain its shape and uses that extra space. Other socks and underwear can be placed around the bag once you fit more of your bulkier items in it. Pack shirts next. You can use the KonMari method of folding and storing your clothes vertically in the bag, but rolling up your clothes will save space too. Do the same with any dresses or formal wear that you're taking that can be folded up. Choosing non-wrinkling fabrics will keep you from having to hang or iron a piece once you arrive at your destination. Since some pants may be more difficult to roll, just fold them up and place them into your bag. Packing cubes, pouches, and plastic bags are your friend. Put toiletries into a clear, sealed bag for an easy security experience. You may also want to unscrew the caps on your liquids, place some shrink wrap on top, and screw the lid back on so that nothing leaks. Put your chargers into an easy to access pocket so you can grab one if you see that your battery is getting low. If your bag doesn't have a separate outer pocket, store them in a pouch or plastic bag to stay organized. I keep a separate pouch with on-plane essentials at the top of my bag for easy access. In that pouch, I have gum, an eye mask, hand lotion, headphones, a portable phone charger, and hand sanitizer inside. Then when I'm on the plane, I really only have to look in one place for all of the things that I need. I also keep extra Ziploc and plastic bags in a pocket of my carry-on in case I need them on the way back. It's also a good idea to make a last minute list with items like your wallet, phone, keys, and other items you'll need up until you leave for your trip. If you enjoyed this, like it, subscribe to our channel, and check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.